Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? This right here is my precious paintings. They got peed on by my cat. Yes, they did. My husband being so nice, he, well, he thought he was being nice, but I'm like, no, these are valuable. We do not have ink, <laughs> and it's expensive. So he threw them away, you know, because it, it's like, it's like pee, right? Of course you're going to throw it away. Except for, I don't have ink, and um, I think I have a little bit, but it's expensive. It's hard to come by. But more than anything, these papers make art that is profound. I mean, art can really have an effect on people. Like reading this every day, you know, on a canvas or a picture in a frame. Pray without ceasing. I mean, it has an effect on people, so... These are precious to me. So, look what I did. Here to my tub. And I put them in some water. And I put some soap in there. Actually, they've already been rinsed with soap. <laughs> I put soap and um, I drained it and I kind of like did that. Drained it and then I put just clear water, clean water. So now they're being, they're in their rinse, rinse mode. And I just have to gently remove them and slide them onto a board that I have. I'm going to go blow dry them. And, um, and then I can use it again. Like this one. I blow dried this one. It's good now. And it's clean. It doesn't smell like pee. I mean, it may look like pee, but it doesn't smell like pee. It's clean and it's usable. As I was doing this and, and saving these um, pearls in a bottle that I used to show that God is our comforter and he collects every tear in the bottle. See, I'm demonstrating with these um, images right here in art that God collects every tear in a bottle I mean, he's our comforter and our rememberer. And um, it has a powerful impact on people's soul. So, I didn't really want to just throw them away. They're, I know the value of them. And so, I was thinking, like, God was showing me. In the same way with us, people will see our flaws and our darkness that we can't see and they'll go ugh that's trash i don't want that like what's wrong with this person you know like we're so quick to judge and cast people off but um you know we treat people with gentleness and love That's better. <laughs> okay, I got lost in my thinking. Okay, let me see. I was going to talk about <laughs> again. Okay, what else did God show me? Oh, yeah. I was like, I was carefully, gent gently rinsing these. And I was thinking of how God washes us with the word. And with all of our flaws and imperfections, he gently washes us. Like, I gently washed these because they rip so easily when they're wet. And I was thinking about how God gently treats us. He's such a gentle, loving father. He's a perfect father. He doesn't just throw us away when he sees that we have flaws you know we are we are sinners we are we're made righteous by him and through him and through sanctification 
we all have imperfections. But he doesn't. He's, he died to save us. He died so that we don't have to go to hell because we're wicked and dark. But God gently washes us off and cleans us from the inside out like I cleaned the pee off of this painting. But he cleans us from the inside out. And he gently washes us loving, takes us and cleanses us with the water of his word. And he loves us through it. I don't know, those are just my thoughts. Maybe God's giving you some thoughts right now. I know my bathtub's a mess. It's a plastic tub, what can I say? It gets like that so easily, you know. Porcelain doesn't get like this. Porcelain stays beautiful, but plastic tubs, they, um, <laughs> they tend to do this. I need to get some Ajax and scrub my tub. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe God teach teaching you something right now. I thought I I had in mind what I was gonna say on the video, but I can't think of anything else. I hope you're blessed. I hope you get a precious message from the Holy Spirit through this video. Personally, because He works like that. He's a good Father like that. God bless you.